There's a lot of great DSLR cameras on the market that take beautiful still imagery, but I'm always surprised to find that people don't realize these cameras also do amazing high definition video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn your video mode on, adjust your settings, and even attach an audio mic, because there's no such thing as good video without good audio. The first tip is to make sure you have a card that is big enough to accommodate lots of video. I have a 16 gig, you can go with an 8 gig, or even a 32 gig. This way you'll have lots of storage space for stills and video as you do your shoot. So how do I turn this thing on? I'm using my Canon 5D. On my 5D you'll find the little switch on the top left corner. It's got a little camera-like button. On the newer models you'll see a little red dot, just like this one on my 60D. It's on the right side, but it works in the same way. So click and on comes my video. With your Canon cameras, you have a lot of control. Scroll through your menu to your video settings. You can change your movie recording size and your sound recording. Let's start with record size. I like to shoot in 1920 by 1080p. That's a nice, big, clean video. And I shoot at 24 because it gives it a slightly more cinematic look. If you'd like your video to be a little smaller, you can always try 640 or scroll up and try 1920 by 1080 30p. Now for a little audio tip. We've done an entire masterclass on audio so check it out masterclass number 12. It's great but just to give a little refresher today I'm going to attach my shotgun Rode mic to my camera placing it right on top. Make sure it's nice and tight. On the side you'll notice that there's a variety of plugs you're looking for the one that says mic. Insert the mic into the mic slot. Don't forget to turn the mic on and you're ready to go. Now, if you go into menu, you can go into your live view movie function settings like we did before. Scroll down to sound recording. Canon has it on auto. Sometimes you're gonna find people that have really loud voices and sometimes you'll find people who have really soft ones. So I like to keep mine in manual mode so that I have complete control over the audio that I'm recording. So to change it, simply click on sound recording auto and change to manual. The nice thing about these cameras is that you can actually see the audio levels as you're recording them. So if I tap on my mic, you see it's going red. That means it's way too loud. You always want to have your camera audio settings set between 12 decibels and 6 decibels. Otherwise, you'll peek out and you'll get sort of a crackling or loud noise and your audio won't sound great. If you want to adjust your settings, just go down to record levels, click, and you can move it up or down based on who it is that you're interviewing. Remember, the most important part is pressing record. Just click the set button right here. You'll see the little light come on in the top right corner of your screen. That means you're recording. And when you want to stop, simply press it again. For aspiring videographers, remember these DSLR cameras have lenses that need to be manually focused while you're shooting video, unless you want to spoil yourself and get the new 70D touchscreen pull focus. Love it. When you're at an event and you just feel like still images isn't quite capturing the ambience that you want, put it in video mode. Get great audio, get beautiful moving images. Yeah.